assalamu alaikum dear student i hope you all will be fine today i will start exercise 5a of d2 for class 8 over today's topic is solving quadratic equations by factorization students as we know product of any number with 0 is equal to 0 or product of 0 into any number is equal to 0 so as we know the product of any number and zero product of any number and zero is equal to zero example 2 into 0 is equal to 0 8 0 into 8 is equal to 0 in algebra if two factors p and q are such that p into q is equal to 0 then either p is equal to 0 or q is equal to 0 or both p and q are equal to 0 students we shall use this principle to solve quadratic equation of the standard form we shall use this principle to solve quadratic equation of standard form so i will start exercise 5a question number 1 solve the equation सोल मीन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सोल मीन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ए इन टू ए माइनस नाइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नो हेयर आई विल यूज दिस प्रिंसिपल आई द फर्स्ट फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू जीरो और सेकेंड फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू नाइन this is the solution of the given equation no student question number 1 part c 5c into c plus 1 is equal to 0 solve mean we have to find the value of c now here again i will use the principle p, p into q is equal to 0 either p is equal to 0 or q is equal to 0 so either 5c is equal to 0 or c plus 1 is equal to 0 so 5 will be divided on the right side so c is equal to 0 over 5 so c is equal to 0 or c is equal to minus 1 that's the solution of the given equation now question number one part f minus 1 over 2 h into 2h plus 3 is equal to 0 so again i will use this principle either first factor is equal to 0 or second is equal to 0 so 2 will be multiplied with 0 on the right side 2 into 0 is equal to 0 so multiply above value by minus 1 so we have h is equal to 0 no 2h plus 3 is equal to 0 2h is equal to minus 3 so 2 will be divided on the right side so h is equal to minus 3 over 2 so the solution of given equation is h is equal to 0 or h is equal to minus 3 over 2 now students remaining parts of question number 1 will be your homework now question number 2 solve the equations part 1 solve mean we have to find the value of k question is k minus 4 into k minus 9 is equal to 0 again i will use this principle again i will use this principle either first is equal to 0 or second factor is equal to 0 from here k is equal to 4 from here k is equal to 9 no question number 2 part e we have to find the value of q solve mean we have to find the value of q 7q minus 6 into 4q plus 5 is equal to 0 either first factor is equal to 0 or second factor is equal to 0 from this 7q is equal to 6 now minus 6 will be positive on the right side of equality now 
सेवन विल बी डिवाइडेड ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ द इक्वेलिटी सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स ओवर सेवन नो फॉर सेकेंड फोर क्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव और q इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव ओवर फोर वी कैन राइट माइनस फाइव ओवर फोर एज माइनस वन होल वन ओवर फोर स्टूडेंट्स रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आर सेम सो द रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स विल बी योर होमवर्क नो स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सॉल्व द इक्वेशन सॉल्व मीन वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए नो क्वेश्चन इज ए स्केयर प्लस नाइन ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो नो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू टर्म एंड इन बोथ द टर्म वी हैव कॉमन फैक्टर ए सो आई विल टेक ए एज अ कॉमन फैक्टर सो इन द फर्स्ट टर्म आई विल हैव ए इन द सेकेंड टर्म आई विल हैव नाइन नो स्टूडेंट दिस इज सेम एज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन a into a plus nine is equal to zero. Either a is equal to zero or a plus nine is equal to zero. A is equal to zero or a is equal to minus nine. This is the solution of given equation. Now solve this equation. Mean we have to find the value of c. So five c square plus twenty five c is equal to zero. Now we have again two terms. and in both the term uh, i have 5c as a common factor so i will take 5c as a common factor in the first term i will have c in the second term i will have 5 now again it is same as question number 1 either 5c is equal to 0 or c plus 5 is equal to 0 so c is equal to 0 over 5 Or c is equal to zero. From here, c is equal to minus five. So c is equal to zero, or c is equal to minus five is the solution of the given equation. Students, other parts are same. So other parts of question number three will be your homework. No, student. Question number four, part A. Solve the equations. Sol mean we have to find the value of k. Student, in order to solve this equation, I will use this identity. Uh, as we know, this identity can be used in both direction. Both direction mean if we have a plus b whole square, then uh, I can write it as a square plus two ab plus b square. And if uh, 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 I have this form, a square plus 2ab plus b square. Then I can write it as a plus b whole square. So here, uh, first of all, I will convert this question into this form. Okay, student, listen again. I will convert this question uh, into this form, and then write. and then i will write it as a plus b whole square so first of all i will convert this question into this form so a square plus b square we can write 36 as 6 square plus 2 into a into b here a is k and b is 6 again student listen here in this question a is equal to k And b is equal to six. So a square plus b square plus two into a into b. Now, student, the important point is to be noted here. The product of these terms must be equal to twelve k. If the product is not twelve k, then we cannot use this identity. Okay, student. No. A square plus b square plus two into a into b. So I will write it as a plus b whole square. Mean k plus six whole square. So in order to solve it, taking square root on both sides. Taking square root on both sides. And as we know, square and square root will cancel each other. So we have k plus six is equal to zero. Or k is equal to minus six. That's the solution of the given equation. 
Now student, question number four, parties, solve the equations, solve mean we have to find the value of Q. So here in this question, middle term is negative. So I will convert this question into this form. Again listen, middle term is negative. So I will convert this question into this form. This form means uh, a square minus 2ab plus b square. And then I, I can write it as a minus b whole square. Understand student? So 4q square is equal to 2q whole square. a square plus b square. Here a is 2q and b is 3 a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b again important point here the product must be equal to minus 12 q if the product is not 12 q then we cannot use this identity so a square minus 2 a b plus b square then we can write it as a minus b whole square here a is 2 q and b is 3 a minus b whole square now taking square root on both side square and square root cancel each other so 2q minus 3 is equal to 0 2q is equal to 3 or you can write it as q is equal to 3 over 2 so further we can also write it as 1 whole 1 over 2 so that's the solution of given question no student that's enough for today so i will meet you in the next lecture till then khuda hafiz